Hey guys, it's Noya from Opanoya. Today I want to give you a great tip for your Israeli Hebrew pronunciation. It's going to help you a lot. I'm going to talk about the common pronunciation in modern Israeli Hebrew of the Hebrew letter Hey. You might be thinking, Hey, what's the problem? Ha <laughs> ha, that's an easy sound to produce. True, but in this video I'm going to draw your attention to something that most of you are probably not aware of. And if you apply what I'm going to suggest, the benefits will be threefold. One, it will suddenly become much easier for you to pronounce certain words. Two, you will sound more like a native speaker and more natural, which comes with the benefit of being more easily understood by Israelis. Three, if you adopt this pronunciation, you will understand Israelis better. Why is that? Because when you pronounce something a certain way and a native speaker pronounces it another way, you wouldn't necessarily recognize it when you hear it because it sounds different from what you know. So for better listening comprehension, you want your pronunciation to be as close as possible to that of a native speaker. Worth learning, isn't it? Let's get to it. The main thing here is thinking of the hey as a vowel rather than a consonant. What we do is we basically ignore that ha ha hey sound and only produce whatever vowel the hey has. For example, let's take the word to decide. Articulated or properly pronounced, it would be lehachlit, lehachlit. It's not easy to pronounce hey followed by chet, lehach, lehachlit. And this is exactly why Israelis normally don't do that. Instead of going lehachlit, we pronounce it lehachlit, lehachlit. So we're kind of omitting the consonant sound of the hey and only keeping its vowel sound. Do you hear the difference? Lehachlit, lehachlit, lehachlit. Le-a-chlit. Try that for a second and see which feels more natural and easier. You can also try this with the word to start, to begin. Lehatchil. Lehatchil. Pronouncing the hey as a consonant makes it much more difficult. Lehatchil. So try to pronounce it like a native speaker. Lehatchil. 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 A super common challenge my students tend to deal with, and maybe you too, is differentiating between to them and to you plural. To them is lahem with a he, and to you plural is lachem with a chaf. Lahem, lachem. If you adopt the Israeli pronunciation of to them, this won't be an issue for you anymore. Instead of articulating lahem, try to only pronounce the vowel of the he. Lahem, lahem. Yesh lahem zman. They have time. Yesh lahem zman. Notice that I'm not turning the hey into an alif, right? Be careful not to do that. I'm not saying la'em, la'em. I'm saying la'em, 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 la'em. Another common combination with hey is when we say and the, the, ha. So you already know, instead of struggling with pronouncing it the, ha, we will change it into ve'a, ve'a. And the child, ve'a yelid. Ve'ayeled, not ve'ayeled. And the house, ve'abayit, ve'abayit, not ve'abayit. And all the more so if there's a chet after the hey, like in and the life. Instead of articulating ve'achaim, which is really uncomfortable, we will pronounce it ve'achaim, ve'achaim. When the hey is at the beginning of a word and it follows another word, we do the same thing and kind of slide smoothly from that first word and into the word that begins with a he. For example, if we want to say in the new house, babayit hachadash, instead of struggling with pronouncing it, babayit hachadash, simply slide smoothly from that T sound at the end of the word bayit and into the he of the second word by only pronouncing the vowel of the he. Babayit hachadash. To simplify how you think about it, just imagine that you're adding that vowel to the T of the first word. So instead of babait, you're saying babaita, babaita. And then you just add chadash, babaita chadash, babaita chadash. This is how native speakers speak. And being aware of this and implementing it yourself will help you understand them better and sound more like them. Let's practice with a few words. I'll say a word pronouncing the hey as a consonant, and then you try and say the word the Israeli way, meaning pronouncing only the vowel of the hey. Fast. Maher. 
מהר. Israeli would be מהר, מהר. About her, עליה, עליה. Israeli, עליה, עליה. Amazing, מדהים, מדהים. Israeli, right. מדהים, מדהים. At the beginning, בהתחלה, בהתחלה. Israeli, בהתחלה, בהתחלה. Process, תהליך, תהליך. In Israeli, תהליך, תהליך. Good job. Or in Israeli, פששש. If you like this video, please like and share it. Also, I invite you to join my Facebook page, Ulpanoia, and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Ulpanoia. Interested in learning more about Israeli pronunciation? Check out my videos, Understanding Spoken Hebrew, The Untold Truth. Are Israelis even speaking Hebrew? Numbers. And how to pronounce the Hebrew resh. Thank you for watching.